This has been a good event for Kevin. The key for him and everybody else is to get the balance right once he takes the weight on his shoulders. Five years ago, when we first met Kevin Yee, he was a full-time student at Arizona State University, originally from the Boston area, now making his home in Arizona. And he's got this thing moving, Kaz. Remember, that's 950 pounds. Huge commitment mentally to be able to carry that kind of weight and keep the feet moving. He has to pause momentarily. How hard is that once you've got the balance to start and stop? Well, he's still committed right from the beginning. His body's letting down, but his mind just wants to finish. He's got just a few more meters to go. Remember, the time limit is 75 seconds. And Kevin stops the clock at 46.53 seconds. So that becomes the time to beat here in the car walk. Constantine has surprised me to this point. At six foot and just over 300 pounds, he doesn't possess overwhelming size. But he's shown a lot of heart and toughness. With little or no experience in the car walk, this could be difficult for him. That's 950 pounds. The time to beat, 46.53 seconds, put up moments ago by American Kevin Nee. Kaz, what do you think so far? He's searching for the balance. It looks like he's got it. Other than going faster, what could he be doing better? I like his concentration, but his footwork is just a little bit sloppy. Feet are all over the place, and that's moving the car back and forth from side to side. And now it's down. Twenty-five meters is the course. They have seventy-five seconds to finish it. Another pickup. It's just going to exhaust him. Plus, he's got to regain his balance. He will not beat Kevin Nee, but if he comes to the finish line, he stops the clock. Forty-nine point three four seconds for Ukrainian Konstantin Elin. That puts him into second place. That face says nine hundred and fifty pounds of crushing weight. First up for group number one was the medley. And it was the USA's Derek Poundstone surging past the field with a 715 pound load to pick up the victory. Then it was time to deal with the 44,000 pound truck pole. Ukrainian rookie Konstantin Elin's effort was good enough for second place. But again, it was Derek Poundstone in the winner's circle. In the squat lift, Poundstone had to settle for a second place finish while Jimmy Marcoux of England showed off his power in claiming first. So after three events, Derek Poundstone leads the way with 17 out of a possible 18 points. In second place, it's Jimmy Marcoux with 12 points. Another two points back, it's Constantine Elin and Louis Philippe Jean tied for third. Kevin Nee is in fifth. Now back out to the picturesque harbor that provides the backdrop for the car wash.